All right, guys. Okay, in this tutorial, okay, we're gonna explain how to import a simple matrix as a training data, okay, into the deep network designer over here. So actually, uh, the reason why I'm doing this video over here, in order to use this fantastic toolbox on any matrix you have in, in the workspace. So if you go to to import data, okay, over here, you can only import um, image data, okay which are arranged into folders, and there are other YouTube videos that explain how to do this. It's very simple. Okay, and in our situation over here, you can also import data store. Okay, now if you are familiar with data stores, it can only import or work with external files. Okay, so it does not actually work uh, with variables okay, into the workspace over here. So in this tutorial, we're going to explain how to do it. Okay, uh, and import a matrix into this toolbox over here. So even if you're working with a data store, sometimes you need to do some processing, okay, in your code and generate a matrix, which is your, tra your final training data. So let's assume that we have this, okay, training, okay, simple training, okay, matrix over here. Okay, so we have input one, input two, input three, input four, input five, and this is our output. Okay, and this is our second training frame and third training frame, fourth training frame. So we have five inputs and we have one output. Okay, so since this toolbox only works with data stores, so you need to write this matrix into an external folder folder, and then make a data store that reads that folder. This is the only way you can work with this okay, toolbox okay, over here. So before, so it's a dog panic, it's just three lines of code. It's very simple. Okay. Um, uh, okay. And we will demonstrate it over here. So before we start the process, it's just uh, three simple steps. Let's go to the MATLAB documentation and know how does this toolbox wants our data arranged. Okay. So in order to, for this toolbox to accept our data, okay, it should be like this. Now your input should be in one cell. Okay, so if you have five inputs, the five inputs should be as an array, okay, inside one cell. And your output should be, okay, in the other cell, like this one. So your output is in one cell, and your input, okay, should be in one cell. Okay, this is very important. So if you have the inputs and the outputs all in one, one cell, it will consider it as all inputs, and it will ask you for the output, okay? So your input should be in one cell and your output should be in a separate, okay, different cell. So whenever your data store reads, okay, your, 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 your files, your external files, it should read it on this shape like this. It should look like this. Okay. This is very important. Now, the second thing, okay, is the, okay, which is very important is that if you have five inputs, they should, they should be arranged as uh, uh columns not rows okay so let's let's right now have this example and it will be very very easy to for you to understand okay so in the situation over here this is our those are our this is our first training frame and those are our first our, our, our five inputs okay so let's create a cell okay let's call it c or uh, cl okay and Let's make it um, uh, five by one okay, cell okay, over here. Okay, because we have five training frames. Okay, so every cell is for one input, uh, one se uh, set of inputs. Okay. All right, guys. So. Right now, okay, let us okay, store our our first set of inputs into this cell array. So let's call it CL of, of 1. Okay, cell of 1, okay, equals, um, uh, what did we call this one, C? Ah, okay, C of Right, okay, of one to um, of one and then one, one to five. Okay, and it should all be transposed. Can we be fine right now? Okay. Okay, 
and the same thing okay we're gonna do it for the other rows okay so why did we transpose it because this is how it should look like inside the toolbox okay it should be as columns not rows okay okay so it's a simple code but right now i'll do it manually okay this is the our third one for the okay and this is our fourth one and this is our fifth one now the same thing okay we will do for the for, okay for the output we will also put each output inside one cell okay like this so let's call it uh, cell out okay cell out equals cell of five by one okay and also let uh, and we will um also assign okay what this takes six one over here so this is one says fourth one and this is the third one Oops. second so all we're doing okay guys it's not complicated all we're doing over here is just cell format that that okay that is required by so if you if, if i've lost your attention right now okay let's have a look at cell okay look at this okay so it's vectors okay each vector is inside one cell okay because this is how it should look like inside of the toolbox so it's a five by one vector as input one input two input three input four input five okay in one training frame okay and the cell out is also as you can say okay each output is inside one cell okay so this is our first step we have written rewritten our training matrix as two cells one for the for the input okay and one for the output now uh the next okay, so thing we should write okay, th okay those cells as external files okay so in order to do that we will use the write function but in order to use the this write function we should first transform those okay cells into a toll into the toll format if you're familiar with that just to be compatible with this function so let okay we can right now say cl okay you saw we cl uh, you saw we toll okay, of cl okay we just transformed it into the toll format okay and sell out okay equals sell out okay um toll of sell out right so this is our okay our sell out okay over here so it's right now it's in the toll format right now we will use the right function so this function what it does it it writes this you know whatever okay uh, this toll array into an external folder over here so first right so we will write okay the 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 input okay the input uh cell right now into a new folder which i've made i've called it okay m9 uh, okay so Right now, um, okay. Let us let's input the location. It's called M nine. Okay, and our our, our uh, variable is CL, right? Come on, come on, uh, CL. Sorry, my 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 laptop is really uh, very slow. Okay, so so we have written right now the CL variable right now. Okay, toll variable into this m9 folder okay so it will be the base for our data store for the input and we will also make m10 right now very beautiful names right <laughs> m10 over here 
and we will write our output um, our output into this folder okay over here so this is our output okay, over here now we will make a data store okay we will make a data store for the um, M, come on, M9. We will make a data store for the M9, okay? And call it call it DI, DN, many. And we will make a data store for the output okay call it come on do i'm not asking for that <laughs> okay so right now okay let's read the d the dn at the store and see how it looks like so this is our first uh, our first row this is our second row our third row our fourth row, our fifth one, and right after that, it says no more data. Okay, so this is how it reads it. It, it reads it uh, row by row. Every row represents a a, the inputs of a training frame, and the same is for the output. Okay, so I'm not going to do it again. All right. So right now, in order to input this data store into our toolbox, it should be all in one data store: the input and the output. So we should combine them. So let's call it DA. Okay, which is the all equals combine da dn and what and d out okay so this is da so let's read it and see how it looks like yeah this is the all okay so this is our first one this is our second our third our fourth our fifth okay and after that no more data okay so somewhat okay so this is how it is actually right now arranged so let's go for to our uh, toolbox and try to import those data okay over here so this is the old let's ignore right now the the validation thing over here and import this one come on come on come on come on all right we are in a good shape over here so as you can say it's a vector input one input two input three input four input five okay and this is the output so this should be a five by one if you entered it as a one by five it will create a problem so it should be a column okay and this is our second um training frame third fourth and fifth okay so this is this is how your data should look like if you have kind of like five inputs and one output or uh, you know uh 10 features and and one output or whatever okay so in order to 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 complete this tutorial over here let's us design a simple network i've already okay done it okay over here i just dragged this input feature this one is okay, okay you can use it when you have let's say um five inputs and okay if you have five inputs for your neural network or something like that you don't have an image or something you just have a five input array okay as inputs for your neural network and then i got my simple fully connected layer okay, which we all love and know okay and the output of it is just one and i chosen the regression layer okay and i auto arranged everything so it looks beautiful like this not something like this okay and i've analyzed it if there is any problem in my design or any any any, any mistakes or any errors okay so it's a very beautiful toolbox this is why i have invested a couple of days until i figured okay this way out okay to to input any matrix i want into this toolbox right i've designed it it says no errors all good so you can go ahead and oops okay and train okay so let's go ahead right now and train and see if there is any problem the training does have but okay okay sorry uh, <laughs> here we have just one five inputs not one okay I panicked really <laughs> okay can you imagine after this whole long video it does not work <laughs> you'll kill me right so we have five inputs okay so let's train right now 
and boom no errors it worked so here we are we're training we have the iterations over here just give it some time i'm using matlab online so life is hard a bit can use MATLAB online if you don't have MATLAB right now. Hit the like button. Oh, okay. Um, um, oh, what's going on? Anyway, okay. Are we still recording? Okay. Um, yeah. So, so this is this is done. Let's increase the iterations, the number of iterations. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And it is really slow here. <clears throat> All right. So let's make it 100 iterations. All right. Again, we're going to train. Yes, we're going to disregard. And... All right, okay, we're still waiting here. So it's training beautifully. It is bouncing and getting closer and closer. Very, very fantastic little box, actually, guys. You're gonna fill in love with it. So it's worth the, <laughs> the effort. All right, guys. So this is our final, okay, this is our final training, okay, over here. So this is how our data look like. Look, can you see one column, one vector and one output? This vector includes all the inputs that we actually want, which should be compatible with the number of inputs inside the, the feature input line. Okay, and right now it is reading the data from the data store we've actually made. So if we summarize right now our steps, okay, over here, the first okay step we've done is we have actually written our data in the right cell format, okay, in the right cell format like uh, CL, Come on, CL for the input and CL out, sorry, CL out okay, for the output, okay? And then, okay, we have transformed this uh, cell out, okay, into uh, the tall cell array format, okay? And then we have written this tall cell array using the right function, okay, to an empty folder here, over here, okay? And then we have made a data store, okay, to read this folder okay uh, and then we have combined the data stores of the input and the output into one data store okay and then you can simply import it so this is how you have imported this simple training data matrix okay over here into your um okay into this beautiful beautiful um toolbox over here so any matrix you have um you can bring it okay with those simple steps don't panic it's very simple just um just familiarize with the steps and it's gonna be fine all right guys if you like this thing um subscribe and like and do all this youtube stuff see you